Shalom, Ya Shalom. All right, welcome back. It's another lesson inspired through the Holy Spirit. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah for putting the Spirit on me to do another quick lesson. Um, I pray be edifying to the sheep. Uh, just want to discuss because uh, the Spirit is on me to talk about you know the homelessness and you know these uh well, really the the military uh, the veterans you know how pretty much majority of them make up this homeless population. And just how the hypocrisy of uh, Babylon is, man. It, it's just a wicked society. You know, America have you go fight in a damn war. And then you come home, you be jacked up. You, you know, you, you, you're so-called disabled. And, and, well, you know, you, you file for disability. And they only give you 40% of your income. You know, just just wicked, man. And, and then you end up homeless after you done served and fought in the, in the country. You know, you end up in prison in another country and they won't even come get you out. You know, it's just uh, everything about this place is wrong, man. And um, thankfully, I'm going to turn this down. So like I didn't realize it was that loud. You know, thankfully, the Lord is about to, you know, bring this place down. And, um, you know, this is going to be centered around a precept I had in mind about, you know, uh, how the Most High hates seeing a man of war suffer poverty, you know. And so... I'm going to start with a little bit of this article, and I got something else, too. It says, uh, this is from CNN, November 16, 2022. Veterans sue VA demanding land be used for homes and not rented out to a college and private school. <laughs> All right. A group of veterans in, in Los Angeles has filed a lawsuit to force homes to be built for them on land now used for elite sports facilities in L.A. 14 unhoused veterans in a national Veterans Foundation filed a complaint in Central California's Federal District Court against the Department of Veterans Affairs on Tuesday night, demanding their needs be put first. Get the fuck off our land or build us housing, Joshua Petit, an unhoused Iraq war veteran, told CNN in an alley 100 yards or so from the gates of the land, which is known as the West Los Angeles campus. And that's what he looked like right there. Uh, he's an uh, unhoused Iraq Iraq uh, war veteran, which uh, Iraq is modern day uh, Babylon. Uh, well, with Babylon in the scriptures in the ancient world, that was that was ancient Babylon. That's uh, modern day Iraq. It says there are more homeless veterans in Los Angeles than any place else in this country. Around thirty five hundred of them on the streets and in shelters, according to the city's homeless services authority. There are also 388 acres in the leafy, lovely neighborhood of Brentwood on the city's west side. All right. Um, all right. So, shit. L.A. is the homeless vet capital. This is an article for Fox News. This came out last month around the same time, too. It says, New Jersey man is walking across USA for unacceptable number of homeless veterans. Tommy Pascal, 24, is raising money for America's homeless vets. Not too much to ask that they have a good place to live. Yeah, and, and that's um, one of the chief things you're supposed to have in, in life, man, is, is a place to cover shame. Sirach 29, 21. It says the chief thing for life is water and bread and clothing and a house to sh to cover shame see so you know having your essentials in life are water food clothing and shelter man and, and these are people that served and fought in these wars for the babylon the great and they can't even get those things they can't even get a, a place to cover their shame this is sirach 26 and 28 there be two things that grieve my heart and the third maketh me angry a man of war that suffered poverty, see, and, and, and a man that fought in the war, that's a part of your military. This is, these are your men of war, and you, you're allowing them to suffer poverty, all right? Let's go poverty. Poverty, destitution, want, need, or insufficiency of money or goods. Wretched condition, poor Right, these people on the streets, man, wouldn't fought in your war for for a country they believed in, and and this is what they this is what they get. The st 
stated condition of having little or no money, goods, or means of support. No support, man. This country shits on shits on their men of war. See? There be two things that grieve my heart, and the third making me angry. A man of war that suffered poverty, and men of understanding that are not set by, and one that returneth from righteousness to sin. To sin. The Lord pre prepareth such an one for the sword. Okay, so, so you got this guy raising money you know, to, for the uh, National Coalition of Homeless Veterans. Pascal said that the 38,000 veterans who go to sleep homeless across the United States is an unacceptable number, especially in a country as, quote unquote, as great as the United States, Babylon the Great. See? And, and that's true. Why are there homeless veterans, man? It's it's bad enough that homelessness is as high as it is in general, but why homeless veterans, man? There ain't no way these men these men should be priority in 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 receiving some type of federally funded housing. But they will they will leave your ass to rot and live in these goddamn on the goddamn streets. And that's why the Lord told us to, that we should be. Calling out this place, man. Calling out his wickedness, man. Second and just 15. And 7, therefore said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And that's what we're doing through these videos. And being on the highways and hedges, we're complaining about the wickedness here. This place is wrong. All right. And, and this is a, a part of the testimony that, you know, the dragon is about to be wroth and come after us for, because we have a testimony that you're you're the wicked and you're you're about you. You know, you, you're about to be punished. You see. For the longest we, we didn't have this testimony, we were just walking around being comfortable, you know, working in a 40 hour work week, getting a paycheck, getting 401k, working for 50 years and then retiring. But now we. You know, we 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 saying no, nah, fuck that. This this is this isn't right. You know, here it is. You work all these these, these long hours, these jobs, only seeing sixty percent of your paycheck. You know, there's scriptures that talk about that. A man is supposed to get his wages and he's supposed to get them that day. You ain't supposed to have to wait no damn two weeks to get a paycheck. That's wicked. Here it is. You, then you, you got to take out loans and, and then they put usury on you. That's against the law. That's wicked. See, a, a place that got all these resources and they're supposed to be so great and so first world and they won't even house their, their, their uh, men of war. Shit's fucked up, man. But that's what that's why the Lord is debasing this place, man. Virgin daughter of Babylon who ought to be destroyed. I'm gonna go ahead and close them. I ain't wanna make this too long. I just wanted to you know speak about that while I was on my spirit. I'm about to go to bed, man. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Shalom.